Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do June readings for all the zodiac signs. These are all general readings, take what applies, if it applies, you know what to do with the rest of it. And thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared my channel, you guys rock! And if anyone would like a personal reading with me, all the info is in the description box below. If you are new to my channel, then welcome, and make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon, that way you get notification for all the new stuff that I put out there. And if you are returning, thank you for sticking with me on this journey. Um, also, I go live every Wednesday, so come join me in a great bunch of peeps to do a look in on all the zodiac signs, as well as a random reading. That's every Wednesday at 7 uh, p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, also, check me out on Instagram. Um, Strength and Wisdom Tarot, I have all the videos of my glow pendulums there, and you can also check them out on my webpage at Strength and Wisdom number one at webs.com. My mystery uh, healing boxes there, pricing, all that good stuff. So, check it out. Okay, this reading is going to be for Aquarius. Let's see what's going on with you. Crack a in June 2021. Hmm. Hmm. Aquarius, you can't outrun something, but you can turn around. And make something fair. So let's see what this is all about. Bottom of the deck, your victory. Absolutely. The six of rods is overcoming a battle and being victorious, coming back from that battle and getting the accolades and the props and the recognition that you deserve. It's time to turn around and fight back, Aquarius. So let's get it. We're going to start off with the very beginning of the beginning here. Number zero in the major arcana, you have the fool. Now, the fool is about taking a leap of faith, taking a chance, taking a risk, but happy to go. Lighthearted, um, enthusiastic. And what's crossing to help or hinder, you get the four of pentacles, known as the miser card. But this is somebody who doesn't express themselves or voice their opinion. <laughs> I don't know why I want to say this, but like almost like somebody observes Hmm. Now, Aquarius, this could be energy that you're putting out there, the energy that you're dealing with, friendship, partnership, loveship, career, family, however this applies. But it's almost like you're in a new direction or taking a new direction, a fresh start at something. Whether it's a relationship, partnership, job, whatever. You didn't get a silent party. It's kind of like, here's your victory, here you are, you're evolving, so to speak. Why stay silent? Why not, you know, express, you know, they're happy for you. But I feel like this is an observer, Aquarius. Because you've had choices, and you've had some pretty good options. There's also been a lot of confusion about something as well. But I think you, you've risen above the confusion, and things are crystal clear. Your choices, your options. The Seven of Cups can come in as confusion, but you rise above it, and something comes crystal clear. And everything in each cup looks pretty good. Maybe if you didn't see them before, you know what your options and what the best options are for you to choose. Because somebody might want to, you know, cover that up and not make something so crystal clear. Because what's crowning your reading is the moon. The moon likes to hide things, Aquarius. The moon only wants to show you what the moon will show you. Maybe not all your options, so you overlook one or pass one by. It could be about heightened intuition, deep consciousness. This could be fear, fear of the unknown, fear about taking that leap of faith, that chance, that risk. Oops. 
Something could be right and funny and you might not see it, Aquarius. And if somebody's watching, maybe they're watching to see that you don't see all your options. That you don't see what's really out there. But I kind of feel, Aquarius, that you already knew about the options. You already know what's there. But I do believe that something's being hidden from you. You know, maybe somebody's telling a half true. They're not lying to you, but they're not fully, you know, saying what they have to say or the truth. Now, in your recent past, you have the Six of Swords. Leaving something behind and going to a better situation, better choices. Better choices that you're making for yourself. Your advancement. It's not about, you know, you advancing anyone else. You're leaving something behind, but something, I believe, maybe the observer, is now going to engage with you. You have the five of swords here. Again, trying to get away from it. You're trying to avoid it. So, Chris, you have to engage. If you're the one that's staying silent, no more. Because this is verbal war. There's no blood involved or anything. You know, this is like a sharp tongue. These could be hurtful words said, and there could be no truth behind them. They just hurt. They wound. The hollow victory. For a shallow person, so to speak. But engaging. It might be time to speak up. You can't outrun something here, Aquarius, and thinking that, you know, maybe the you know, this will just go away, or if I stay silent, if I don't engage with them. No, they're coming. So use the element of surprise, Aquarius. Don't let them see you turn around. If you have to stand up for yourself and stand up for those choices and options, stand up for what's yours, do so. Because how this situation is seeing you, is seeing you as a justice card. Now, this could be something being rectified, justified, something being made fair, maybe in court. Karmic justice. It's fair for both parties, not just for you. Um, I almost said Capricorn. Maybe you're dealing with a Capricorn. Um, not just for you, but the other person. You'll make it fair. You'll make it right. Now, maybe you think that making something right is not engaging with someone. You know, just let them be. But when they won't let it. You get to turn around and make it right. It might be taking a chance and taking a risk. But the outcome of it, I think you'll stop the pursuit. You know, whether this is a situation or a person, like I said, any one of those ships. But in your environment, you're pretty powerful, Aquarius. Not only do you have the beginning of the beginning, but you get the number one, too. This is starting something new and fresh. Take a chance and a risk using your talents. And they're working for you. The magician has all the tools in front of him to make whatever he wants appear. Law of attraction, manifestations. And you're doing it. You're creating the scenarios that are best for you. And maybe it's nobody else's business. Maybe they don't need to know. But you got an onlooker. It's kind, of, it's kind of like the crow in the tree. That no matter where you go, where you drive to, it's always there. Maybe this person or the situation wasn't one of the options. In your hopes and in your fears. This is absolutely a hope. The Nine of Pentacles is that I'm good solo card. This is somebody who doesn't go without. It could be successful entrepreneurship. And yes, that's a word. <laughs> but if, you know, this is like being self-reliant, self-efficient. You're being independent, not dependent. So Aquarius, this could be somebody, you know, maybe it was somebody that you part ways with. Friendship, partnership, it could be a family member. However, a, an ex-co-worker. 
It's like they don't have the guts to say something to your face. Maybe they're waiting for you to fall on your face. Never going to happen. Every good opportunity that's coming to you, Aquarius, you have deserved it. The universe gave it to you. It's not anybody else to judge. You have these gifts and these talents. You use them. You use them to your benefit. Why do you think you have them? And this is self-reliant and self-efficient because Aquarius, all you need is you. But you're going to turn around. You're going to face this. Because your outcome coming. Aquarius is the Six of Pentacles. Here's the even exchange of generosity, the 50-50 deal. You always want to make sure that you are receiving as much as you're giving. And vice versa. So, you rectify it, justify it. And then it's done. So, if somebody wants you to make something right or fair, you will. You will. And you have a good head on your shoulders, Aquarius. You know, you're not going to take more than what you deserve. But you're also not going to give more than what they deserve. Karmic justice? Yeah. And then the pursuit stops. And then you can stay that independent energy. So that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel. Don't forget about Wednesdays, 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time to come join me and the crew. And check me out on Instagram and my webpage, strengthandwisdom1 at webs.com. So until then, take care.